Robert Tilton Ministries, reaching out to the world with the love and compassion of Jesus. Success in Life with Robert Tilton. From the Success in Life studio, here is Robert Tilton. I want to welcome all of you that are joining with us today, whether it's in the middle of the night or early in the morning or maybe a Sunday afternoon. But I bring a blessing to you in the name of the Lord. Jesus said, go into a city, and when you get into that city, whatever house accepts or receives you, let your peace come upon that house. That word there is shalom. Shalom means peace, but there can only be peace where there is victory. And there's blessings where there is peace, there's victory, there's blessings, there's prosperity. I bring a blessing to you in the name of the Lord. In a few minutes, you're going to be seeing two very remarkable, miraculous testimonials of two women who decided to be believers. They were being destroyed because of lack of knowledge. For the enemy roams about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And those that are ignorant of Jesus' victory, those whose eyes have not been opened to the truth, stumble in darkness. Many even own death row. But today, God brings a blessing to you. He has sent me, in the power of His name, to minister victory, healing, blessings, oh yes, and answers to prayer. I just heard him say, you have not because you ask not. Ask in the power and the authority that is in my name, saith the Lord, so that your joy may be full. Thank you, Lord. I'm hearing that just ringing through my being. Use the power that is in his name so that your joy may be full. Coming up is Alice. Alice had, frankly, cancer in the roof of her mouth. The doctors wanted to remove part of her palate. She was sobbing because saying, why me, oh God? But God used me to bring healing to her the same way he wants to use me to bring healing to you. There's a phone number on the screen. When you call that number, I will answer in a recording, and then your prayer request will be given to me. And you and I are going to pray in Jesus' name. Matthew 18, 19 says, if any Jesus said, if any two of you agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, he said it shall be done. Maria's standing by at the phones to receive your most urgent prayer request. I want to encourage you to call today. There's just something about James 5, 14, is there any sick among you? Let them, any sick, that's you, let them call for the elders of the church. They'll anoint with oil and pray the prayer of faith. And if you've committed sins, the Lord will forgive you and God will raise you up. Ooh, you're going to get out of that sick bed. You're going to get back up on your feet and you're going to learn how to walk in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Powerful presence of God today. Powerful presence of the Lord. He's, he's wanting to reach out to you. He's wanting to reach out to you. He's moved with, with compassion. He's touched by the feelings of your infirmities, sicknesses, diseases, discouragement. Oh, he's, he's so moved to touch you. He wants to reach out to you and to help you in every area of your life. Such a presence of the Lord. You sense that? That presence of God, that presence of God. Let me remind you, I have a special book. I want to send you free, God's Miracle Plan for Man. This book explains how the prophet of God comes to bring a blessing and how to get you back up on your feet. And then I want to send you a free blessed cloth that I've already prayed over according to James, according to Acts 19.11, how God works special miracles by the hands of Paul. And then I'm going to send you some special anointing oil. Right now we're going to a couple of very quick announcements and this incredible testimony of Alice, who she thought God had done that to her. 
But God doesn't send sickness and disease. The thief, Jesus said in John 10, 10, roams about. He comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I've come to you today that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Prepare yourself to release your faith. Watch these incredible testimonials coming up after this break. God blesses us so that we can be a blessing to other people. The more we give of what God gives to us, God will keep giving and keep giving. Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Psalms 50, 14 and 15. Sometimes stress can be too much to bear. The tension can build up causing problems and mistakes. Straining to meet deadlines and commitments, you may feel pushed over the edge, giving way to frustration and failure. Now, Robert Tilton teaches you how to overcome these conflicts through God's miracle plan for man. If you're stressed out on life, reach out for God's miracle plan for man by Robert Tilton. Alice's cigarettes had always been near and dear to her until Alice discovered a painful lump on the roof of her mouth. I noticed it in July, the last week in July. Uh, and it was a bump, saw a bump up there. And after it had been there for about, maybe about two weeks, and uh, kept getting worse, I went to the doctor, to my doctor. And uh, he recommended that I go see a specialist. The specialist confirmed Alice's worst fears. She gave me a lot of tests, uh, different tests. And then she told me, uh, about a week after I had taken the test, she called me and told me to come in, and when I went in, she told me that I had cancer in the top of my mouth. The medical language for Alice's condition was squamous cell carcinoma, a common form of skin cancer. Painful lesions similar to these had formed inside Alice's mouth. Now doctors told her part of her palate would have to be cut away. First I cried, then I got mad, and, and I couldn't believe it. But then I got mad about it and wondered why me. Who and were you mad at, Alice? I guess I was mad at God. Dazed and fearful, Alice arrived home with a bottle of rum. I started drinking and I started smoking my cigarettes, which the doctor told me to leave alone the cigarettes. But I just said, well, I'll, I'll smoke these last cigarettes and then I'll try to quit. And that's what I did. I, I drank and smoked and cried. Alice had abandoned formal religion years before, but as the day of her surgery approached, she suddenly craved the presence of God. When she saw Success in Life's prayer line number on her television, she decided to ask for help. And I called and one of the prayer partners uh, prayed for me. And uh, then they sent me a, I got a prayer cloth about maybe a week later. I got a prayer cloth. Alice immediately took the cloth, placed it in her mouth, and asked God to heal her. You know, you really didn't even have a relationship with God. What made you take that prayer cloth and, and believe like that? Because God was the only somebody that I could turn to. I didn't have uh, nobody else I could turn to. As Alice opened her eyes early the next morning, she instinctively reached back with her tongue to check the lump in her mouth. And I didn't feel that uh, tumor or whatever it was up there, it was gone. And the only thing was up there was a dent where uh, the tumor had been, where the lesion had been. What'd you do then? That's when I got happy. <laughs> then when I got happy, and at first I didn't know what to think. I said, I know it's not there. And then it come to me that I had, had used that prayer cloth the day before and prayed. And uh, so I got happy. And I just got on the phone and started calling people and telling them about it. I'd had a miracle healed. Alice returned to her doctor, who immediately took another biopsy of her palate. So the biopsy came back negative for cancer? Yes. Did the doctor, what did, what did she say? What was her reaction? Uh, that it was amazing, incredible. She didn't understand it and she couldn't believe it. 
And so I just told her, I asked her if she believed in God, and she said yes. And I said, well, I had a, a miracle healing. I said, you ever watch Bob Tilton? And she said, no. I said, well, I watched Mary Morning. I said, and through by him, that's how I got my miracle healing. I said, through by Bob Tilton ministry. And she still can't believe it. She had me to go to a, another doctor. And he told me, he said, well, why are you, she sending you here? He said, because your mouth is healed. Alice has been back to her doctor several times since then. Every few weeks, a new biopsy is taken with the same results. The cancer is gone. In medical language, her condition is resolved. But Alice says a better word is miraculously healed. Well, one thing about it, I, it build my faith in God. It rebuild my faith. And then I've joined church. I go to church regularly. And I believe miracles, I know miracles happen. I know it, because I know I had a miracle. When I tell anybody that listen that I had one. What a beautiful testimonial of the power of prayer. Matthew, the 18th chapter, Jesus said, Any two agree that you and I on earth is touching with their faith anything that they shall ask, he said it would be done. Alice, so discouraged, didn't know what to do, but one day she heard the truth. Faith comes by hearing the Word of God. Faith brought a blessing and a miracle into her life. In a moment, we're going to pray, begin to agree with you for your most urgent prayer request. If you've not called, there's something about having faith with action. Faith without action is dead. It's non-productive. It doesn't produce. It's like seed. Unless it's sown, it will not bring a harvest. Alice acted in faith and allowed me to pray the prayer of faith for her. See, when you have faith and action, you're a believer. A believer is a verb, one who acts on what they have faith for. When you hear the Word of God or the promises, faith comes. And then when you believe it, you will begin to talk like it act like it, and then that moves the creative power of God on the scene to bring a miracle into your life. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And I just heard one say, well, I believe God answers prayer, but not for me. For I'm no respecter of persons, saith the Lord. But without faith, it is impossible to please me. My kind of faith, saith the Lord, will produce a miracle into your life. And I've sent my servant today, as strange as it may seem, to speak to you for me how much I love you and how much I want to minister healing to you, saith the Lord. For I was wounded for your transgressions. I was bruised for your iniquities. By my stripes you've been healed. And as you respond in faith with action, saith the Lord, it releases me to bring shalom, victory, and peace and blessings into your life. This day I bring healing to you through the power of my name, saith the Lord. I'm seeing a person having problems in their lungs. Also some type of a cancer has attacked you. Let me minister to you. Go call me right now. Let your request be made known. I'll answer. I'll receive your request as they're given to me. And then we're going to pray the prayer of agreement in just a moment. Thank you, honey. Here is Marisha has called in from Lexington, Tennessee, having problems going through depression in her life. Alice was in depression. She was so discouraged. But then she got happy. Why? Because her prayers were answered. Jesus said, you have not because you ask not. He said, ask my name so that your joy may be full. The Lord wants to heal you. You heard that prophetic word that just went forth. That was the gift of the Holy Spirit speaking through me, the Lord, to minister to you. Depression, depression, that's a strong word for someone that's going through depression. See, it's the anointing, the presence of the Holy Spirit that breaks the powers of darkness off of you. See, the devil is defeated. We have to enforce Jesus' victory over the devil at Calvary. And when we use Jesus' name in faith, God begins to move on the scene and the devil has to go. He only operates through ignorance, 
through fear and through the Christians who don't exercise or enjoy the benefits that they have. Oh, the benefits of the Lord. Oh, taste the Lord and see how good that he is. Here's another prayer request that's come in from Margaret. Margaret wants special prayer for her family in the area of her marriage. So many marriages get attacked in the area of sickness, disease, and lack. People fight because of lack of money. Let me minister to you for finances in your life. That's a strong word for someone. For promotion comes not from the north, south, or east, or west, saith the Lord. But I'm the one that promotes. And as you seek me and put me first in your life, saith God, I can then move. For I'm a God that honors faith, saith God. Without faith, it's impossible to please me. For I'm a rewarder of those that diligently seek me, saith the Lord. There's a person watching you need to call right now. Be sure and ask for my free book, Special Blessed Cloth and the Oil. When you call, I'll answer through a recording, and then your prayer request will be given to me. It's very important to have faith with action. Faith without works is dead. But when you believe and you begin to act upon it, then God can begin to move. Right now we're going to go through to some more uh, brief announcements and then another miraculous testimonial. This lady had been attacked in her mind. 50-50 chance of dying. A brain aneurysm. But she began to watch me on television just like you. And she released her faith and allowed me to pray the prayer of agreement for her. In a moment, Rhea and I are going to be praying the prayer of agreement. And I'm going to be releasing the anointing of God to break those powers of darkness off of you. God sent me to you today. Yes, he did. God, I'm, I'm just a boldness. We're going to command the devil to take his hands off of you. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost in power who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. If you will allow me to pray in Jesus' name, he'll come on the scene and break those powers of the devil off of you like he did for Alice and like he did for our sister coming up on this testimonial. Get ready. Go to your phone. Don't just sit there. Get up and do something. Get out of that bed. Get off that couch. Stop what you're doing and call in your most urgent prayer request right now. We'll be right back. Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Psalms 50, 14 and 15. Sometimes stress can be too much to bear. The tension can build up causing problems and mistakes. Straining to meet deadlines and commitments, you may feel pushed over the edge, giving way to frustration and failure. Now, Robert Tilton teaches you how to overcome these conflicts through God's miracle plan for man. If you're stressed out on life, reach out for God's miracle plan for man by Robert Tilton. Counting down the days until retirement, Lily looked forward to times of relaxation with family and friends. But her future suddenly took a painful and deadly turn. My head hurt day and night. If I lay down, it hurt. If I sat up, there hurt. Look like, and I don't care what I did, it was nothing doing no good. Lily's headache soon spread to her eyes, causing her vision to blur. The pain eventually traveled to her neck and shoulders until her entire upper body was engulfed in agony. The pain started at the back part of my neck and just like somebody had a hatchet or something beaten in the top of your head. And I mean, it hurt from the, from the back part of my neck all across my head. A trip to the hospital revealed Lily was suffering from a brain aneurysm. Doctors explained the balloon-like enlargement of the artery, as shown here, could rupture, causing severe brain damage and even death. And he told me it was a 50-50 chance. Either it would burst, uh, either if, if, and if it burst, that I would, you know, be kind of waggly, I wouldn't myself. And so the way he was telling it to me, like my brain just won't work, won't function. Doctors performed three CAT scans until they pinpointed the trouble area. An operation was then immediately scheduled for the 28th of that month. The thought of this day coming filled Lily with grief and despair. So I sat there on, on the long chair and I began to weep and cry. And I happened to look over at the television when uh, Rob Tillman said, put your hands on the screen. And I said, Lord, he's talking put to me. Put your hand on top of my 
I said, I'm going and trying. Lily put her hand on the screen and prayed the prayer of agreement. Now just days from surgery, Lily was prepared to receive a medical confirmation of God's miraculous power. And when the 28th come, they prepared me to go into the room. And my grandson was sitting there crying. He said, Grandma said, you may not come back. I said, honey, I'll be back. I said, because I got faith in God, and I know prayer changes things. He said, but, but Grandma, just let me talk to you a minute. I said, baby, I'm coming back. Don't y'all leave. I'll be back. I just had that faith. Because as they was, uh, Robert Tim was praying, he said, have faith and believe. And that's exactly what I did. I had faith and I believed that God was going to heal my body. And truly, I went up for the operation. And when I got in there, and two or three of the doctors were standing there, and they would began to look at and say something. I don't know what they were saying. And then another one come in, and, and he shook his head and come out. And when the third one come out, he said, I don't see nothing. And I holler, hallelujah, thank you, God, thank you. I said, see there, I told y'all I was going back home. Three specialists who previously located the aneurysm were now amazed over its sudden disappearance. Lily was immediately released from the hospital and sent home with a clean bill of health. God's healing power has sent Lily into her retirement with the vigor of a teenager. Who I feel just like a 16-year-old child. I don't have no aches and no pain. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I thank you, God. I thank you. I thank you. Because I know he's a way maker. And he can open doors that was closed in my face. But today I'm a living witness that God can heal the analyst through prayer. What a powerful testimonial that was with Lily and how she released her faith. She was perishing because of lack of knowledge. But when she learned how to release her faith and God used me, and if you haven't called yet, you should, how God used me through the prayer of agreement. Any two on earth agree as touching anything that they shall ask. Oh, I feel it very strong for you that you didn't call, but you need to call right now and be sure and get my free book, God's Miracle Plan for Man. It'll help you learn how to release your faith and then the special blessed oil and cloth. Oh God, oh. You know, honey, I'm, I've been thinking about how important it is to, to be born again and invite Christ into your life. God comes to live on the inside of you. And then as you learn to use your faith, he will begin to walk through you and face the problems and the circumstances of life with you. The most important miracle is to be born again. And when you're born again, you're redeemed from the curse because Jesus bore it. And you have a right to be released from all the curses of sickness, sorrow, griefs, pains, diseases, poverty, lack, fear. Mm -hmm. And you learn to walk in his strength instead of your strength. Oh, yes, and you learn how to walk in his inexhaustible supply. You begin to walk in his riches and glory. Let's, let's pray for those that are watching today and you've never received Christ before we begin to pray the prayer of faith for your healing. Let's just pray. Pray this prayer with me if you've never been born again. Pray this prayer right now. Oh, God, I accept Jesus as your son, that when, my sin, when he bore my sins in his body, he defeated the devil in hell, and you raised him from the dead. I accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, and I accept him as my healer also. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Prayer requests have been coming in. Honey, do you have some yes, folks I do. that you've... Kenya writes in that she wants uh, strength and victory to be made for her temptation problem all the time. And Mary writes uh, that she would like Jesus to deliver her from all the uh, very bad things that are happening with her m mom and her dad. Arlene writes uh, that uh, her, well, Willie is an alcoholic and is in denial to please pray for him. 
Latoya writes that she's having a problem conceiving and that she would like for us to pray amen, for her fallopian amen, tubes. Amen, amen, amen. That's a strong word right then, honey. You know how we have miracle babies. Yes. And I believe that God wants to give some miracle babies out there today. If you're having difficulty conceiving and having a child, I want to encourage you to call right now. Release your faith. See, when you get up and call, that's faith in action. That's releasing your faith. Saying, Bob, I'm agreeing with you and Maria for the prayer of faith for me. Let's pray right now over the prayer requests that have come in. Father, right now, in fact, I want to, Maria and I are agreeing now. Put your hand on top of mine on the screen. Father, right now, through the authority that is in the name of Jesus, I break every hold of the devil off of them now. You foul devils, you oppressive spirits, go in the name of Jesus. You spirits of depression, go in the name of Jesus. And now, Holy Spirit of the living God, Flow through this television screen. Flow through my hand. Let the anointing of God go into those legs, into those lungs, into that mind, that brain. You foul spirit of cancer, I curse you in the name of Jesus. I curse you, cancer. Go in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. I've enjoyed, we've enjoyed so much being with you today. And uh, be sure and call in your most urgent request. And many of you have written you a letter. Be sure and answer my letter and help support our ministry so we can bring this Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever to others. Be sure and call now. Be sure and ask for your free book. This is Bob and Maria Tilton <laughs> reaching out to you. Remember when you made your vow of faith to God, how excited you were and why you were so eager to promise God a portion of your finances. Many who've made vows to God through Robert Tilton Ministries know what it's like to have lived from paycheck to paycheck. However, by making a vow to God and faithfully paying on that vow, these same people have learned how to break the curse of poverty. Today, they're living in prosperity. Every time you pay on your vow, remember, God will keep His promise and give to you. You have been watching Success in Life with Bob and Maria Tilton. It is our prayer that this program has been an inspiration and blessing to you. Remember, write or call today. On behalf of everyone at Success in Life, be encouraged, don't give up, and remember, the best is yet to come.